I've told it's a right to work state. I told you I have no jurisdiction here. I told this, but having said all of that, let's make a deal. I don't want to be anything that's less than cooperative. And all I ask the Teamsters, because, and, and they really appreciated my attitude. They said, you're one of the very only producers we've ever talked to that have opened their arms to us in this kind of fashion at this point in a production. Everybody else starts to lie to us, says nothing can ever happen, nothing this, nothing that. I said, look, I had, I had designs on what I was going to do with the contingency and enhance the movie, and apparently I'm not going to have those opportunities now. It's going to go to labor, and, and if that's what it is, then that's what it is. Said, but I'm just going to ask you one thing to respect me in what I'm doing here. Don't make any of this retroactive. You didn't meet me until we're starting the second week of the show. Just don't make this go back to pre-production and, and all this retroactive wages and things for people who are perfectly happy to be here if you had never shown up, who were signed on for something, agreed in writing, knew what they had with their eyes open. He said, that's a very fair and very reasonable request and we'd be very happy to agree to that. So the Teamster deal was that I would take a, a captain and two drivers, you know, the standard run of the mill deal, and, uh, and I would pay them from that point in time forward.